What does that say? Disney World. Guess where we're gonna go through a page here in a minute. Ah, uh, there they are, honey. Oh, they changed the color. They said the color was changing. They did paint it. Look it was at more that. of a royal blue, wasn't it? Almost a purple. Yeah. We had that discussion uh, a couple of years ago about royal blue and purple. Yeah. This one looks like a little bit more purple then. So the rule is you can't stop by here. I know people do to take pictures. Yeah. We've, we've followed the rules. We've never done that. we follow the rules. No. So we are at Disney World. We are going to Disney Springs right now because... We want to uh, check out a couple of things and you want to do something. Let me get over here on that. I'm driving through traffic so you talk. So I want to go check out the Mirror Bradley store because of a new pattern that's come out. It's the Little Mermaid pattern. So we're going to go there and check it out. So we got off the highway. Um, yeah, I was driving through traffic so I had to have Peg put the uh, phone down for a couple of minutes because it was busy. Um, heading over to Disney Springs. Um, most of the traffic is going the other way to get to the parks. We're going to Disney Springs, which has not opened yet, so we're early. But uh, it's better to be early than, uh, than late at Disney Springs since it has a tendency to get full. Yes, the parking garages do fill up, and it is spring break week to give you a good warning. And it was pretty packed on the plane, pretty packed everywhere. It's very different from a year ago when we traveled in spring break. True that. They have two main parking garages at Disney Springs, the orange and the lime. They also have surface parking as well, but right now that's closed. Um, and you see the Cirque du Soleil building right there? They're actually putting a new Cirque du Soleil show in. That's been closed now for almost, uh, well, almost two years because of the pandemic. But they've used that time to remodel the entire building and rehearse a brand new Cirque du Soleil show. But I'm not sure when it's going to restart there. It's restarted. Oh, it has restarted. Yes, it has restarted. Okay, I did not know that. You're telling me something I didn't know. So the new Cirque du Soleil show has restarted then. Um, there's also a bowling alley in there, Splitsville, which we've played, uh, we've bowled there before. Splitsville's really cool. Uh, they have a full AMC theater with like 18 different theaters. And uh, we've seen uh, the new Star Wars here when it first came out. Star Wars Episode Three, I think. No, it actually was, um, which was the Star Wars? Was it? Uh, it was, um, uh, it was the very first one when, they brought Harrison Ford back. Oh, yes. Okay. Because that's when, um, you know, what happened there. Yeah, exactly. It was, uh, number, what was the number? What was it seven? Episode seven. seven. Yeah, seven. Episode seven, yes. So, yeah, we saw that here, the uh, premiere of it here. So that was kind of cool. And we've also seen other premieres here. Uh, I think we saw the Cinderella premiere here. So we yep. do take time away from the parks. As we said, uh, we're doing videos on what you can do away from the parks. This is away from the parks. You are at Disney Springs. You can shop, you can eat, yep. you can watch movies. Yep. And right there behind me, we just passed the Lime parking garage. The um, um, other parking garage is up here just a little bit. They do have, by the way, if you're staying on Disney grounds, you do not have to use the parking garages because there is bus transportation that brings you to Disney Springs. You'll see the buses there in the background. But do know, bus transportation does not go from Disney Springs to the parks. No. Because they want you to pay for the parking. Exactly. So in the afternoon, it may have transportation from the parks to Disney Springs directly. But not back. Right. So just keep that in mind. So we're uh, we're heading over. I've taken the back way to get in. Um, we want to go parking in this garage here, which is the orange garage. So I have to actually go do a U-turn and come back to it. So uh, let's uh, let's go do that U-turn and we'll talk to you here in a bit. You know, I got my garages backwards. I said that the first garage we went by was the Lime and then this was the Orange. I got it backwards. This is actually the Lime garage. This is the one that's on the uh, uh, World of Disney side of Disney Springs. Or they call it West Side. West Side, yeah. And we want to go over to the other side, which is where the Vera store is. But I'm still going to park here um, because... I like to walk and we'll walk. Um, and I'm going to take the second level because the second level is actually where the walkway to a Disney Springs is. So I'm going to take the second level and go up there and park. And the beauty about the garage is it tells you what space is available. And if it's red, there is occupied. And if it's green, it's available. So it's if you look down an aisle and you see a green spot, well, you know that there's a spot down there. And like I said, we're going really early because it does get really full here so we're trying to get everything done first thing in the morning so that's one of the things to occupy what yourself is 
to come here first thing in the morning. And there's another thing I like. It tells you how many spots are left on each level, too. So you know which level to go to. And again, the walkway itself is on level two on both garages, the orange and the uh, lime garage. So we're just going to park here on the uh, on the uh, second level and they just walk over and walk down into Disney Springs. I get to be the camera guy this time? Because you know me, I'm the viewer person because yeah. I wear a viewer all the time. All right, so I get to, I get to be the camera person this well, time? Well, right now because you know where we're going. Well, you want to go to the Vera store here. Right. Peg is a big Vera Bradley fan. But this is the new pattern we're talking about. Oh, the Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid pattern is what we've been talking about. You know us. I just have to stop by here because of this pattern. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Go check it out. Oh, look at that. There's Ariel, Flounder. Like and a kid in a candy store, Sebastian. Yes, I am horrible about this, you know, sweetie. Look at that. Here is the hipster. I think it's like a wristlet. I always like to see how much these are. Look at well, this. Hang on here. Let me hold this while okay. you look. Yeah, I love this stuff. So this is the RFID wristlet. And I actually love RFIDs, especially when you're traveling. And that's what we're doing right now. It's because it protects supposedly your credit cards. This is a triple hipster. Yep, triple zip hipster, and that's $85. Oh my gosh, just look at this. It's got three, two pockets on the outside. Oh, look at that. There's pockets on the inside. And oh, oh, this has just been a big, big controversy. Inside, the inside. Everybody talks about inside. Is it that rustly fabric? It's gone. It's fabric, guys. Remember a while back, they, got, they had that rustly fabric? Mm -hmm. They do not. It's actually cloth now that's a big controversy there so they got the pattern inside now yes they have the pattern so what you do is on a Vera Bradley you always try to look for great pattern placements that's me I will go through 10 zip IDs or basically 10 purses to get the perfect pattern placement let's see what's this one this one is the triple compartment crossbody that's $85 so this has different compartments, and I do like it because this actually has zip co zip I zip covers zip I mean a full zips across. But if you need to get in the center right away, that is great too. And even the inside has the pattern. So it looks like the pattern inside is almost exactly the pattern outside. It's a little different. And what's this one? And this one is, yes, I am a kid in a candy store. I just love this stuff. This looks like a wristlet. Let's see what kind of wristlet is it. Yes, it's, all, it's an all-in-one crossbody, and that's $80. Let's try to put this back. And this actually have pockets here. And it has zips across. And this must have another thing inside so you could put, oh, but you have to take this apart just to get inside there. Yes, I am a kid in a candy store when it comes to Vera. Like it has RFID protection here too, which I love. Uh, this is where the um, other piece goes for the crossbody. There it is, so this will hook on to here and there, so you get your crossbody. Let's put this back. And I want to go find the zip IDs. You know me and zip IDs. Mm -hmm. I love, love zip IDs. Let's put this back. This was, I think, inside the. Okay, I am putting this back. Okay, that was originally there. And I'll put this here, see? Uh, what is this one? I've not seen this one. Excuse me. Hmm, this is interesting. Oh, this is interesting. I've not seen this one. This must be new, I'm, or it's new to me. Oh, it's a bucket crossbody. Oh, 
How much was that? Um, did I not show you? I thought it was eighty. No, you didn't say it though. Oh, I didn't say it. Okay, let's do that again. If you guys want to know, it is eighty dollars. So this is the bucket crossbody, and this is called aerial floral. Is the pattern? And you know me and zip IDs. Let's go to the zip IDs. Oh, they have these too. What are these? Lanyards. Waterproof pouch, foam pouch or lanyard, $32. It's when you go to the beach. Oh, that's funny. Maine in Roanoke, Indiana. <laughs> well, I know where that is. Yes, that's not that far from us. It's like 10 miles from my house. I know. But see, this one is 32 But this is pretty cool. So you have the lanyard here with this big key ring. But there's really no Vera logo on it. I what happened to the Vera ring logo? I'm a huge Vera ring logo because I'll show you my Vera ring logo right there and this is the Vera ring logo that I had before and I said this is the pattern I've had this is really really old it's still my favorite it's the first Mickey one that came through oh pajama pants these are to die for pajama pants they're so soft these are $50 I will tell you I bought my pajama pants at the outlet sale I ran out then they I went through them and I ended up buying them in our I guess Mercari to get them. So I actually did do that. Oh, we can't forget about the t shirts, too. Oh, look at that. Isn't that a great silhouette? Did I say that right? Silhouette. Honey? Silhouette. Silhouette. So this is the, oh, it's 100% cotton, too. Ooh, this is really, really soft. Oh my gosh. You have to be careful how you wash it if it's 100% cotton. I know. So this is the short sleeve t shirt that goes with it. I could just wear this t shirt without. The pajama pants out because it's, you could get away with this. In the summer, you have Vera shorts. These are pajama shorts. They're forty dollars. And then you have the tumblers. Oh my gosh, twenty-five dollars the tumblers. Oh, what's this? Oh, the backpack. What's this on the backpack? This this huge backpack. This looks this looks like a large backpack. Looks like a campus backpack. Like I said, this is off the top of my head. Oh, I am so good still. Campus backpack, 130. So this is the campus backpack. So you take to college. Right. This is for college kids, college students. Well, yeah. Oh, this is this is the rustly fabric. See, this is what I was talking about. The old rustly fabric. They still do have it here. So this has two different kinds of fabric. And let's go um, the zip IDs. This is probably my favorite, the zip IDs. Oh, they have two different kinds, honey. Look at this. This zip ID, it just has a, this zip ID has this one here. And then this one is here. So this is the one I like. Is the one on the left. That's what. But it doesn't one. have the clear plastic through the. It does yes, have the okay, the other side. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. So this one has like uh, just Ariel in the back, but this one I would actually if you look through like ten of them to get the right one to get Ariel in the back. So this one is twenty dollars. Is that focusing? There we go. Twenty dollars. And then this one should be twenty dollars also. Yep. Oh, this is what. Oh, why? This is twenty. What is that? Twenty-five dollars. Is that twenty-five? Okay, so this one is 20. Okay. So the the embroidery brought it up an extra $5. So this one is 25. But if you actually look at the clasps, this is a different clasp. This is a bigger sturdier clasp. That looks like a clamshell. You notice that? Mm -hmm. It's a clamshell clasp. And this one is just the Vero logo clasp. But look at the difference in the Vero logo. This used to be all Vero all the way through, but this is not anymore. Like I said, when I compare this one, so they've changed the clasp itself. So now you have the lanyards. So you have the lanyard, and it is $20. And this is the lanyard. And this has both clasps. So this has the Vera logo plus that clamshell clasp, which is really cool. And of course, you have to have the Crocs. They have Crocs in Vera. And this, uh, Everybody just talk about wearing Crocs at the parks. And these are, let me see how much it is. 
Let's see. Let's see how much these are. I don't know how much these are. It doesn't say. I would have to ask. But there was also, sorry, don't forget the slippers or flip flops. Flip flops. That's thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five dollars, and of course for your phone, you can't forget the pop socket. Oh, for the back of your phone. Right, yeah. pop sockets. These are nineteen ninety-nine. And then the other lanyard. There's two different lanyards. There's a, a thick lanyard that I saw, and there's the other lanyard, a thinner lanyard. And this one is twenty-five dollars. It's a breakaway lanyard. The original Croc style. And I don't see the pricing on this, which is really weird. Doesn't say. I don't know how much they are. Right here. And this is it. The is that a villager? Oh, here's the villager. This is the villager. Villager is a hundred oh no, this is the Vera tote, sorry. The Vera tote. Let me get that clarification. Vera tote. I love the villager. The villager is a little bit smaller. And this is the Vera tote. And it has pockets. And so is this another version of the Vera tote? So this must be the other version of the Vera tote. Yes, this is another Vera tote. It's 150. So do you see the uh, how the embroidery increased it by? The embroidery we increased it by what? What was this one versus that one, sweetie? I think it was 125 to 150. Uh, was it 125? Sorry. It was 120 to 150. 120 to 150. Yeah. So 120 to 150. So this one is $30 more than that one. And you can't forget the socks. Beer or socks. Gotta have beer or socks, honey. And these are $15. You do have a pair of beer or socks at home, don't I you? I do. So there we are. Oh, oh, look at this tiny, tiny backpack. Oh, you almost was, missed that. I did. Um, you see? They're usually hidden. Oh, here it is. So that's what this is called. The mini backpack, 75. I will tell you, this is cute, but I would not buy because I am a very security person and I do not like drawstrings. I'm more of a zipper. Right. Because years ago, my purse got lifted. Okay, on a snap. That's the reason why I don't like it. And this has a big strap in the back. And you can't forget the beach towel. And a different, this looks like a drawstring bag. I'll open it up. Okay. There should be a. No, there's no tag in it. It's a black tag usually in front somewhere. Reactive. It's usually by a zipper. Is it inside? Might be inside. I'm going to set your sunglasses down for mm -hmm. half a second. No, I don't see okay. it inside either. Well, if anybody knows how much this is, please let me know. And then there's beach towels here. And the beach towels are $50. Whoa. $50 for beach towels. And then there's also a Hang little... on, I found the tag. Huh? How much is it? Found the tag. This is called the Reactive Deluxe Drawstring Backpack for 65 and this is a put your best fin forward. Well, let's put all your credit cards in. Right. I want an ID area. And this one is, let's see. It's always interesting. Oh, here. This one is $55. Oh, there is my, there is my um, small bureau tote. There's a small bureau tote. If you don't want that big one, it is. Probably the baby size of the Vera, $95. So it's basically the big Betsy and little Betsy similar, <laughs> if, you, if you guys remember that. I think that's it. Oh, there's that big beach bag. Here we go. One more. Here's one more. This looks like the beach bag. What's this one? I love this. This one is the Reactive Straw String Family Tote for $75. And the material is very different. 
So this is it's more, more of a waterproof material. Right. So this is for the beach. Yeah, this is really waterproof. It's so that's beachy stuff. Thanks for joining us. We are at the Vera Bradley store at Disney Springs. And you got to look at all your Vera patterns. Yes, I did. And I've not decided what I want to buy it because you know there's no discounts on it. And I tend to wait till there's a sale. So. Yeah, I know, but there's some that you'll buy without the discounts just because you love them. Right. Do you love the Little Mermaid enough to be able to bypass waiting for discounts? I know. That's the problem. With $25 or $20 for Zip ID case, mine needs to be replaced. I did buy another one a few years ago. Here's a video of it last year. I think we were here at the same time about yes, last we year when we discovered it. So, uh, by the way, I'm going to say that I'm going to close for you because you don't sure. know how to do it because I'm the one that yes, does it all do. the time. Thanks for watching this video. We appreciate you checking out all our videos. Uh, Vera Bradley store in downtown Disney is where we're at. Have yourself a magical day.